hello viewers welcome to angular Ray tutorial and today we are at session 9 uh, which is all about property binding in angular so uh, i would request please visit to my last session which is on interpolation in angular because uh, there are some terms i'm just continuing with my last tutorial so just for you know understanding in a better way so please visit to my session 8 so let's begin with the new one like property binding okay so uh, as we are dis discussing the current session is all about the data binding and how it is importance it has it gives its major importance uh, in angular uh, basically so property binding is one of them okay so again property binding uh, it's uh, like interpolation as we discussed in our last session and but the main difference here is uh, you know it deals with the element properties element in the sense we are like html elements we are having several html elements we have and it deals with the properties okay so just keep on mind uh, i probably will be you know uh, covering this session of uh, uh, sorry not exactly the session i covering this particular topic what is the difference between a HTML and the element and a DOM basically? So what it happens like what you are writing is called the HTML element, but what it gets converted when and the browser understand is called document object model. This is called your DOM and the HTML has the attributes, the attributes gets converted into properties. So now how we are binding to that properties, this is all about a property binding from angular okay so property binding works with a pair of uh, you know a square versus having element property aligned within it okay and input value can be set using property binding as below so if you can see uh, the particular diagram like uh, uh, my data is nothing but here it's a variable what uh, which is you know a part of the big end file is called a component or ts okay i'm just rendering the html of my data to value okay so earlier how we used to uh, we have written uh, like so value equals my data right so my data uh, will be the help of interpolation so if you would have remembered else not just visit so that you can you know refer like how interpolation and property binding both works okay so uh, let's move to the visual studio code and we'll see how this is going to be have so here uh okay let me comment some of lines uh, actually this is all from uh my uh you know my previous uh tutorial basically so let me comment it out it's all about the interpolation we are talking about okay and uh yeah exactly and we will continue with the uh this one okay the enter dv when i can comment it out property binding okay okay that's fine so now if you'll see like here input type equal text and value so value how we are supposed to render here using the interpolation right so now i'm supposed to you know render using the property binding okay so how i'm supposed to do as i told like uh, property binding uh, is works with a pair of square brushes and the element a property basically value is the property for the element input text box and which is supposed to be my data okay so this is the value it will come from the back end okay and just run the application and we'll see how it works okay so just put and this up okay so it started compiling so here you can see uh, the project is building basically so that the transcript uh, or the, the basically typescript is gets transferred to you know javascript version because uh, the code we are written in transcript at high level but what browser understands javascript so the compiler the node compiler itself you know transpires to javascript okay so all done now let's visit to the this video url localhost 4200 so here the browser opens so let me visit to the localhost our port is running on 4200 as you know okay so just type 4200 4200 just hit enter 
okay the application is running now here you can see there is a text box okay let me show you in debugger tool as well so here you can see of uh, okay so just click on the element okay and here you are able to see okay so let me go to the you know Okay, so here you can see like it is rendering an input text box over here and the value it uh, contains is angular okay which is coming from you know uh, our backend so my data so it is coming from my data and if we'll move to HTS file so here you can see like uh, your my data is uh, angular so it is rendering like uh, you know angular within a text box okay so now the like as i told uh, before uh, like proper property binding also works in one direction uh, like in interpolation we have okay so now uh, this is one of the major uh, important topic uh, from this session i would say like how property binding differs with the interpolation okay so like angular internally you know converts interpolation format to property binding okay so interpolation is just an alternative way to render data interpolation is nothing but it's a syntax okay just do you think in your in a logical way does any browser understands what is a curly versus syntax not at all what it understand what is my property it is going to be rendered and how it's going to be rendered to which property and the value it touch and it really contains okay so interpolation is just simply a format and which gets converted to property binding internally so instead where uh, okay let me show the commented code so here uh, if you'll see the component or html the same thing uh, uh, you know earlier uh, it was like uh, like this right okay so this is the form of my data but when it will render uh, you know to the browser basically render the html it gets converted uh, in this form uh, basically okay so like input type equal text and this is the property of this input element and we are assigning a variable and variable contains a value called angular that's it okay what is next if there might be a case if you need to append context okay so when interpolus takes uh, you know the more responsibility on it overrides the responsibility of property binding okay so here you can see like uh, i have a folder uh, called img name and uh, this is the one angular.csspg so this is nothing but it is a you know sub context or it is the you know subtext of the entire text which is going to be assigned to a property called src okay so here you can see like uh, let's suppose uh, let me put into in this way okay so you have a browser okay let's uh, think of flipkart and amazon okay the browser stores in the central location or in, maybe in the folder location or maybe in the s3 bucket uh, of uh, a you know your amazon uh, service or cloud or any cloud uh, you can you know uh, take into a assumption so like the first uh, part of the url what it tells about is the do domain okay where the service address the ip address which is mapped to a particular domain address so that is the one and the what differs you know uh, with respect to each image is like the image name and most probably the path also same like here you can see asset image logo so there is a directory and the here https angular.io is the domain okay so let's just just assume it like you will have a multiple uh, you know uh, multiple uh, images uh, to a particular phase so what do you think like you need to hard code everything so you need to just render it from maybe a database or maybe a source file and the domain you don't don't need to you know just uh, type again and again no need to repeat okay simply we are just going to use the interpolation just append the file name and the path will be the same so in this case interpolation is, is you know going to take the responsibility over property binding okay 
so let's see this on action so let me create a image tag so here what i'm supposed to do here i am just creating an image tag and uh, let me put a, a br as well okay so break row okay that's fine and uh, okay so img name so this is the directory name and uh, let me create the folder as well img name and here i am going to store uh, okay so angular dot svc so it's g okay so svc format okay now let's see how it is going to be have okay so here you can see like uh, there is a text box and there is a big image over here okay so you can just customize it you know using its height and width like this okay so like maybe height height would be maybe like uh, what it 200 big big pixel okay and width also let's go for the same 200 pixel okay okay now this is fine right okay so here you can see like interpolation and if you want to just append or you you want to just you know achieve this such kind of things you know property winding is not going to you know uh, take care of this so in this case particularly you need interpolation okay the next one is called uh, okay when we are dealing with a non-string value okay uh, then we must have to use property binding instant interpolation else the behavior will be unexpected okay what is a non-string just uh, focus on this particular diagram here we have a element called button HTML button and uh, here I am just rendering some value is disabled is nothing but it's a, again a variable which is coming from the value is coming from the backend dot uh, ts file and disabled is its you know a property basically the attribute uh, okay the, the which gets converted into property and uh, based on that boolean value uh, we are expecting true or false okay in this case uh, right uh, you can't achieve such kind of thing using interpolation else the behavior will be unexpected so what unexpected behavior we are going to get if we are using interpolation let me show you right now so let's create a button okay uh, just for interest uh, interest of time i already have typed this uh, you know such uh, syntaxes for you okay so button there is a property disabled i am just assigning is disabled okay so let me create the variable quickly for you just go to your ts file and go here just is disabled equals uh, maybe pulse okay uh, i just want to you know uh, render it to uh, you know um, the button should be clickable uh, i don't want to disable initially okay so let's move into the browser so here you can see like uh, i can still click okay here you can see the uh, you know uh, uh, effect uh, on upon clicking okay so let's move and uh, rather than uh, just uh, false i can you know true make it true and just see okay now it's disabled i can't click even and this is uh, you know quite fed as well okay uh, the button is quite fed now as i told like this kind of thing of like uh, some of uh, uh, okay let me move to the uh, ppt ones so uh, here you can see uh, like uh, if we will use the interpolation format instead of proper binding it is not as not at all possible because when we are going to deal with the nurturing value the property only takes place or comes into the picture okay else the behavior would be quite different and unexpected so let me show you that as well okay so what i'm supposed to do here So now do one thing. Okay, I'm just uh, going to use interpolation over here. Okay. Now let's go to the browser and we'll see how it is going to render. Okay, just refresh what once. It is Java. That's fine. That's quite uh, you know familiar. That is fine let me show you something okay uh, 
go to its ts file and uh, just undo it just make it false and uh, now you go to the browser okay now just refresh it okay it is still disabled this is the unexpected behavior we are just talking about okay even uh, even uh, after setting uh, it as you know false basically the disabled property is false here still it is not enabling but if we'll go to its html just undo it and just use the property binding instead and just go to the browser it should be clickable like this okay so this is all we are talking about like in some cases we have to go for, for interpolation and in this case also we have to go for property binding especially when we are dealing with an string value so thank you viewers thanks for watching this session and you can visit to uh, my blog scam.nerdu.blogspot.com for all text version of my tutorials and i will be uploading too in future of uh, the upcoming tutorials as well and for the particular text version of current session you can visit to this url uh, okay and uh, Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this series and kindly visit to my previous tutorial so that uh, it is as interrelated. I'm preparing all of my video tutorials so you can have a, you know, sequentially and better understanding. So thank you once again. Till then, uh, keep smiling and uh, keep sharing your knowledge with the others uh, and keep uh, learning always because learning never has an end. Thank you.